Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great morning so far. Today is Monday, uh, August 2nd, actually. It's a new month, so we had a monthly candle open up. Um, and that's been a really good session so far. Uh, Ron did a weekly night cat, a weekly forecast last night, and uh, pretty much he did another London session. And uh, now we're doing uh, market open uh, for 9:30, guys, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. So, just give me one second here. All right. I just need to gather my links and send them to my group, and then uh, we'll begin. Okay. Okay, okay, perfect, guys. Okay, so basically, I had this set up on the five minute time frame. It was kind of a trade idea that I gave to our sniper members, uh, potentially forming a double bottom here for a nice little breakout, uh, but we'll wait and see. Okay, we're going to erase everything here that we have on right now. Then we're going to go from pretty much uh, the four hour all the way down to um, the five minutes. Okay, so we know that, guys, if we're looking at the four hour here, there's heavy support right around this area right here. Okay. It, not saying it's going to get there to right now, but it potentially could, forming potentially a double top here on the four hour as well. Okay, but I'm looking for more roughly right down here. Okay, where, right where price action is, because down there is it's a far ways away, and uh, I'm not saying it couldn't get there today, but it has uh, more opportunity to kind of scalp within this zone. Okay, so I'm just gaining some higher time frame support and resistance, and then we have a little zone roughly right around here. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one there as well until we get a little lower all right so for my four hourly what's going on big man i want to drop to the hourly okay and as you can see guys we now have our four hours broken down into each individual hourly candle okay and i'm just tightening up you know making it more efficient you can see here now we have a uh, good zone in this area down here and if we break obviously we come down to this area right here okay so we can definitely know that that's a key area and then one more roughly break right down here and if it breaks below this low guy 1792 this thing is going to fall pretty pretty nicely okay so it's going to get a little maybe a little blurry here uh not blurry but um <clears throat> a little crowded on the charts okay it's just because we're new week like i said you some of you scalp london with uh with ron okay uh he maybe did it a little differently, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I just like to all every session that I do, okay. I always like to do a top down from a higher time frame to simply know where I'm at right now, okay. So my 15, I'm going to go down to my five minute, all right. So we're right back to where we were before, we're right before I started the call, okay, for a potential double bottom here and a double top, okay, or uh, not a double top, sorry, double bottom, and then potentially another thing forming once we uh, get a little more areas to uh, see where we're going to go. So if it, guys, if it's a break up there, you know what I mean? We can have some key areas right up there. And the reason why I'm looking for it is they attempted it once over here and they attempted it once over here. It is making a descending angle, but if it starts to break up in this area, like I said, breaks at 200, you're going to see a nice little push to the upside. Okay. Um, and then same with the same to the downside. Okay. If it breaks down here, like I said, we'll look for more of a confirmed sell entry at, at this time okay and then in case obviously we get into this area it's a potential reversal area and then if it drops through there we could have uh, a nice little fall okay so gold right now i'm just i'm waiting for it to kind of make its next move it's hovering right around the uh the 200 okay so it might do some consolidation before making its actual next move okay so let's just wait and see here um i'm just gonna gold Okay, just chart it up for you guys nicely so you know what we're actually trading on this chart. Okay, um, give me one second here. Let me check my YouTube. We're almost going to be at market open here. All right, perfect. So we're going to go to US 30 now, guys. Same thing, it's kind of hovering right over, um, you know, the 200 as well. All right, you can see previously this is an area that we've charted. They had a huge gap on the session open. I'm going to go from daily down I'm gonna restart remove everything and then we're gonna restart and see look at this guy's clean nice and clean here okay but you can see now that we've came to an area where prices maybe found in like a top right here 
all right I'm not saying it can't break through okay but august is generally sell-off month okay keep that in mind guys uh it's not guaranteed like that but it's you know what i mean if you check the monthlies and the higher lead time frame candles and you look back in previous history uh you do have uh quite often a nice little retracement in august before starting the next uh or leading into september uh and move and continuously moving forward like that okay so we can do that for you on a session um but for right now, like I said, we're just going to scalp it and make some uh, good pips on this one, okay? So you can see, guys, that we're in definite, definite consolidation area here, and this is four hours. Okay, Re this is something you want. You don't really want to trade, okay? So we'll see what it looks like on the hourly. Okay, that's in clear, like, trap, gap, whichever way it's going to make. Okay, I know it's a wide box, guys, like from here to here. That's three hundred twenty. Okay, that's three hundred twenty dollars. Okay, so that's a that's a wide range. Okay, but you can see we're in that area, right off in here, uh, right around in here. Okay, see, trapping, gapping, bouncing off and forward. This is nice area, but you can now see we made a steady uptrend on the hourly. Okay, so I'm gonna. It's basically now dissecting this market. Pretty much, uh, they're gonna probably fill this gap down here, guys. Keep this in mind. Uh, if they are going to do a sell-off, which will break the 200 and potentially come down to this area right here, okay? So, I just charted gold, okay? So, if you're just showing up a little late, gold is already being charted, okay? So, now we're just working on our higher time frames. And, guys, we already sent a trade idea that banked in the mentorship group. So, uh, if like I said, I'll go over that in a second. But for right now, we are charting our indices, Let's go, guys. Okay, so you see how we're, ch we're sitting right at that 200 again? Okay, it's crazy, guys. We're hovering right there. So we can use that as a pretty much support and resistance. For a short, like I said, this might be double bottom for break. And if it's a double, like I said, if it just falls down here and stays below the 200, okay, it's going to pretty much fall into a short down down in this area right down here so like i said it'll be rejected boom retest continuation okay but we're gonna wait and see here because if it breaks to the upside guys it could be like a double bottom okay with a neckline break and then which in turn could be a nice little move for us okay and how that one would come to fruition would look like this okay give me one second here see how it sold off boom boom closing a little higher and then it's breaking here okay All right guys this area right here is your neckline break okay we had one similarly happen uh i think it was friday on us 32 it broke up and it had this candle went at least 100 pips okay you guys can check out the call okay so there's 21 people on the call here i got nine likes to try to get me to 15 before market open okay we'll wait and see here after that Okay, so this is a key area right here, guys. Right here. I'm going to put it right on the 200. Uh, you can't really see it. This is this area right there. 35.50 is key, okay? If it breaks to the downside, like I said, <clears throat> that's your stop loss up here, okay? So this is kind of like a trapping gap in its own, all right? So keep that in mind. All right, so guys, if it's breaking up in here, you are, if you're looking to take a small entry, it's very small, guys. We're waiting for this thing to close with confirmation because it might get rejected here and sell off. Okay, but just keep this in mind. That's US 30. Okay, we got another like five minutes. I'll do NASDAQ real quick. And then we're going to get to right into open, guys. So I don't have much time. If you have any questions, just please throw them in the chat box. Um, and like I said, get my try to get the likes up if you can, guys. It go it helps the video go viral. We're in Canada here, so it is a holiday for us. So we're taking time out of our day to do this for you. So at least show us some love back. All right. There's Nasdaq. Okay. Look at that, guys. So we held the buy from down there. Look, you'd still up be up your pips from previous. This is the previous call. No drawdown, guys. Look at where we're at right now. You'd be up over 150 pips. Crazy. This was done in a live call too. I'm pretty sure it was last Friday. Okay. I'm going to chart Nasdaq from the four hour down. Same thing. Okay, so you can really see the sessions. And now we're going to chart it based on technical analysis. Okay. 
So now we have a break up there. I like NASDAQ because it has a little bit of a higher position than where it is. Okay, so it can reach here before breaking up. If it breaks the high guys, it can run like a, like 100 pips on each break. So it can have significant, like I said, breakout power when it starts to break your highs and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, so see you guys. Now we're hovering in here. Have a little one below there. Just grab that because that's pretty much the low, guys. All right. And now we're working our way up here. This is the hourly. Okay. See, we're above the 200 moving average on the hourly, guys. And the reason why I've kept this on here, like I said, I don't usually trade with it, but a lot of guys actually had a lot of positive feedback after. Uh, they feel a lot more comfortable with it on here. I like to trade bear chart. Not a lot of people like to do that, guys. But uh, it's something that, you know what I mean, over a period of time that I've become more accustomed to. Okay. All right. Now we're getting into more price action area key breaks. So now you really got to gather your your information here. Okay, so th this is a key area right here, guys. You can see there's a lot of, see, right there. There's a lot of kind of up, down, up, down, up, down, sell off. And same here with rejection. Okay, so we're at a key, we're at a key area, guys, that if it breaks to the upside, it has nice momentum. If it breaks to the downside, it has good momentum as well. So I'm going to just drop down to the five for a second and see where we're at here. Okay, the last is pretty much at that wick. Okay. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so you can see the 200 is moving in an ascending, like a ascending uptrend. Okay. So I'm pretty much going to grab the 200 for now since the next candle is pretty much, yeah, we're coming to market open here. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to be more conservative. Uh, if it starts to break down here, like I said, I'm looking for more of a conservative approach right below it all right which is the bottom right here okay just because i we're, we're kind of crunched with time on this so if you're looking for something like that guys your stop loss would be right there your potential entry would be there it's a wider stop loss to wider take profit okay but keep that in mind this is market open guys this is how you got to learn how to trade if you're wanted to trade this okay it's not always the greatest to trade because it can be it can head fake you but once you start to understand like the movements of open like i said you can do fairly well but it's all about being patient and having uh, the right mindset and being mentally clear when you're doing it and not getting head faked by pretty much, like I said, the people who are uh, doing this, which are market makers, okay? Because they push it up, but then they're going to push it right back down. You know what I mean? So they're going to have nice head fake action here, okay? Guys, so I know this is wider. I'm looking for the neckline break right around here, though, guys. See that neckline? I'm seeing something possibly forming right here. Okay, this is my last area, previous wick. Okay, and then for the sell, okay, I'm looking, this is the sell entry right here, okay, with a maybe tighter stop loss down here, simply because that would be a neckline kind of break for me, see right there, all right, that previous wick, so then that would become my stop loss for here, so it's tightening it up, okay, guys, so <clears throat> give me one second here. Okay, so they're getting it sold off now, guys. So if it starts to break down, look, like I said, that's where the entry point is. These two numbers right here, guys. These two numbers right here. Okay, keep this in mind. This is where we're looking at roughly. Okay. All right, so we got a minute 59 left. Okay, we'll leave NASDAQ right now. This is our gold. Okay. Gold is not going to have much on market open, but it's going to have a more impactful movement on uh, um, around 10 o'clock. Like I said, we do have 10 a.m. news here. Just being mindful of the time right now. Okay, here we are. 10 a.m., that's going to be the nice red folder right there. Okay, we'll get some good movement off that, and then we'll uh, adapt accordingly. Okay, but for gold right now, guys, there's not much of anything. Like I said, I just have a higher stop loss set. There's not really formed. I didn't really put one on there just yet. So leave gold alone for right now, guys. I'm not really sure about how it's going to move if we like i said we get a break to the upside that's where the entry point is if we're looking for a more confirmed break that's where the entry is down here okay and then we can adjust our stop losses accordingly the reason why i'm doing this is just to be more precautious of anything because i'm not too sure what's actually going on with gold right now it's not having any clear in the movement but it does look like it's forming a double bottom okay so let's wait and see for that okay guys in the chat box 
if you want me to trade US 30 or NASDAQ, I want to hear the first five people in the next literally minute. I'm going to just start with that one, okay? So let's see what we're going to do here. I got to see it in the chat box, guys. Okay, I got 20 likes. I'm down with that. Let's see some chat. Put it in there. One, I got four NASDAQs, three US 30s, five NASDAQs, okay? Okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. Look at US 30 right now, okay? There's 16 seconds left going into market open. We're going to trade NASDAQ, okay? We always trade US 30. We're going to trade NAS. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to US 30, guys. Don't worry here. Wait for the head fake, guys. Wait for the first candle to close. Okay, this is the first candle is always impulse. Okay, breaking very... Not a lot of push today. We'll probably get a continuation. Just wait. Wait for it. Okay, push right back down, guys. Look at that. That's why I said wait for the first candle. Okay, they're probably going to do a wick fill. Let me check what happened to US 30 here. Sold right off. Okay, guys, now the entry point is down here. Remember on US 30, all right? Back to NASDAQ, okay? Head fake. Let's see if they're going to push or pull, guys. They always do this on market open. Keep, keep in mind, keep in mind, guys, this is crazy. Never buy on the first candle. The first candle is always impulse, okay, because they can hammer this right back down. Let's just be patient and see what they're going to do, okay? Understand this. Guys, be very patient here, okay? See, if they're buying, you're buying at your own risk on small lot sizes, okay? Remember, this is, this is a lot of erratic movement here, okay? Okay, guys, so like I said, be very patient, very patient here. Okay, see how we're getting a nice little break to the upside now? Okay, so see, we got to close above here, guys. We got to close above the support. So what I mean by that is, see how we're getting a push to the upside? It's got to close there for a retest, okay? And then it's got to be continued. All right, so just be patient. Be very patient here. Okay, let's see US 30. So US 30 flip script, guys. Didn't even hit our stop loss. So if you did take it, you're still good to go on US 30. So let's see if it's going to honor this neckline breakout, okay? If it honors this, it's going to continue to a next profit-taking area, all right? Let's see. NASDAQ push back down, guys. There we go. But it, let's see. And the reason why I keep saying that, guys, is simply because, um, you know what I mean? This is uh, the first candle. This still hasn't even closed yet. See how what I mean? You're just buying on impulse, right? So you always want to make sure that you're just uh, seeing how the next candle will, uh, so firstly, seeing how this candle will close, and next is see how uh, the, can, the next candle is going to open. If it holds support up here, like your guys, that's your retest, and then it potentially could have a continuation. But we know we're at a high, remember? And before the call, I just told you that, uh, you know what I mean? August is notorious for selling, okay? So you can look back on the weekly, on the monthly candles for any time in August. All right. So there you go. Let's see if we're going to see it. Get in there. All right. And same with down here, guys. That's why I told you. Wait for the next candle. We're going to be closing in a minute and 34 seconds. Okay. If it does go into a sell, what you're looking to do is having something like this. Same thing. A break with a retest. So just very similar here. Break, retest there, and then, you know, your continuation. All right, guys, this is more of a conservative way to trade than just buying on impulse. Like you, you should really understand that. Um, it's something that you need to try to work on if you're, like I said, impulse traders, like it can be great at times, but you know what I mean? It can also be very detrimental, okay? Look at gold, guys, breaking into the profit, all right? Guys, this is the double top, double bottom breakout that I told you about. It's breaking the 200, okay? So you see what I'm saying? I had, 
I showed you, you can go back in the call, went down here, boom, 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 here's the neckline, okay, it might get some conservative, uh, like I said, consolidation there before it breaks to the upside, okay, but wait for it to close, guys, there's still 38 seconds left, you know what I mean, it's something that you want to be uh, just cautious of as well, okay, always wait for candles to close, always wait for candles to close, and then we have US 30, guys, look at that, look at US 30, guys, holy, that's crazy, that's a neckline break on US 32. We had one on Friday, and now we have one here, guys. That hit our second take, our th second take profit for 70 pips. Okay, so zero. Uh, the one who said you unsubscribe. I'm sorry, man. I'm not too sure why you did, but that's uh, that's definitely okay. I know there's a lot of other great channels out there, so um, you know what I mean. Thanks for watching the uh, market open with with us. Okay, so. Um, but for the guys who are making pips, you know what I mean? This is huge, guys. This is huge. 70 pips. Look at this. This is insane. Look at this, guys. We're doing this live. Guys, get the likes up. There's 38 people watching here. Get these. Get that likes up to at least, at least 30 for me. You know what I mean? It trends the channel. Definitely helps out. All right? Okay, so now we're getting a little bit of a retest here on the 200, okay? Nice little retest there. Okay, let's check out NAS for a second here. Sold off. Okay, guys, look at NAS. Went bearish. Let's get it. If, we, if you took that, you know what I mean? Like I said, you got to get a continuation uh, confirmation, which it, it's starting to do. First candle, I told you guys, it's head fake-ish. You know what I mean? It's always head fake. NASDAQ is selling off. There we go, guys. I caught that. There we go. I just caught that sell. Okay, let's look in my webcam for one second. I'm three for three this morning. Okay, not over leveraging. Nice small lot sizes. You know what I mean. I use a 0 0.1 with my broker. You know what I mean. It's it's nice. I'm happy with that. You know what I mean. I don't need to be greedy. Nice little sell off here. I told everyone on the before the call, don't enter on the first candle. It's a head fake. You know what I mean. If they did, that's you got to work on your patience. Okay, so uh, Nasdaq. Okay, that's a good question. As you can see up here, guys, if you're just signing in on the call, it's already in on the sell, okay? NASDAQ blew through our take profit one, and it's up roughly 19 pips, okay? Uh, for right now, I would just hold tight until it makes its next move, all right? US 30, like I said, is doing similar retests, holding above the 200, okay? So I'm going to leave that one alone for right now. Gold is starting to break above still, okay? So it had a nice bullish movement here, okay? And if you look where we got in, to there guys that's roughly 10 pips now it's doing a retest here most likely what's going to happen going to have that nice bullish momentum there if it comes back it's going to come back down and test the the 200 okay before making its next move all right so what you would do with gold is you would maybe if you're in this trade maybe scale scale out you might take some profits because uh if it does break down here you just don't want to go into the red right you want to be as more precise as possible if you want to move your stop loss up there it's going to take a lot of movement to push it past the 200 and get bearish okay so just just keep that in mind guys just keep that in mind and let's check out nasdaq again holy guys nasdaq look at this i told you guys Head fake, they dump it. It always happens. Look at this, guys. This is bananas. Okay, now, but guys, keep in mind, we always have a retracement on market open. Like, not always, case okay, so I can't say that, but a lot of the time we do have a retracement on this, uh, on these moves here, okay? Guys, get me four more likes to get up to 30. There's like 37 people on the call. It shouldn't be too hard. You know what I mean? That's all we ask for in return. Because obviously you can tell we we get you in the trades. All right? US 30 still hovering around. Okay? not Still not messing with that one. I want to see what's going on with NASDAQ right now. Okay? I want to see if it's going to come down and touch our, like I said, our roughly third TP. The reason where it's getting stalled, guys, look, it's getting stalled around this area right here because if it fills here, it's going to fill this gap. I told you they're going to fill this gap eventually. Okay? You see this one right here? It might not be right now, but they're going to fill it eventually. And, guys, they came so close to it, but then they're starting to push back up. Okay? Right at the bottom there. 
All right, They're, if they break down their guys, they fill the open gap that happened. Um, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure it was yesterday, and then uh, it'll continue on the movement there. All right, so let's just wait and see. Okay. Guys, is there any? Uh, yes, I do. We do use buy and sell stops 100%. Guys, so <laughs> if you look with our mentorship group that we have, guys, okay, it's all buy and sell stops. And the reason why, you guys, when I put these numbers there, when I put the numbers right here, you know what I mean? Um, you can use those as buy and sell stop orders, okay? That's, like, that's why I do that. You know what I mean? People, sometimes they require me to, and I see what I mean, guys, for gold. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. But for gold, they sold off right to the 200. Okay, now they're going to make their next move. That's why I told you, look, to take your profits here, okay? US 30 is continuing bullish. All right. But yeah, so why we do why we do these right down here, uh, for me anyways, is like I said, I like to show you where the buy stop or sell stop entries. Right? So, and guys, key like, we try like if you do a buy if you want to do a more confi uh, confirmed entry guys like for real if you want to do a more confirmed entry I drew this right here that's the neckline I didn't place it there guys because we had a little bit of uh, short shortness in time you know what I mean but guys this is uh, this is your neckline break right here guys this is uh, that's a double bottom you know what I mean I have a bottom right here right and then I have a like an area bottom right around here I like to consider this one there but it's an area bottom and then look guys this thing just blew out past the neckline and look at this guys this thing's running this thing's gonna hit our f uh, third or fourth take profit so that's what I mean like you can have specific areas set uh, guys that hits up there that's like 97 pips okay and if it breaks there guys that's rare in the high and it's gonna can 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 it can continue. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to stutter, but this is a huge move right here, guys. This is a bananas move. Okay, this is what happens on market open, the US 30 trading with Stock Sniper trading. Okay. So there's your double bottom. Okay, so remember, guys, these things only run as fast, or sorry, as far as, uh, it, it can only run as far, you know what I mean? It's like, you get tired too. When you're tired in a sprint, you slow down, you cool off. Okay, so now, guys, what I like to do I'm still looking for the buy, okay? But now I'm my mind is shifting more to looking for a retracement, a pullback, okay? That's what some of you guys might like to call it. I, I like to call retracements just, ever, since I started, it's always been a retracement for me, but some people like to call them pullbacks, okay? So there's nothing wrong with calling them that. It's vice versa, okay? So that's pretty much the high over there, guys. So if this thing, I'm gonna move this one up right there. If that thing breaks the like roughly 35,181, that thing's gonna have fireworks, guys. Like this could be a nice little breakout here, okay? And if it if it gets rejected there, guys, it gets pushing near the high right now. It gets rejected. What we'll do is we'll flip script, okay? And I'll start to look for a sell area at a key opportunity. See what I'm saying? So I'll move it down there, look for a nice little stop loss area, and then we'll have a take profit, guys. We scalp buy and sells on market open. There's no one else that does this, guys. It's bananas. So guys, what I like to do is, you know what I mean? 33 likes, guys. You guys are the best. Honestly, straight up. I appreciate that, okay? Before I do anything, guys, I just want to show you we do have a website, okay? Um, I just I haven't done it on this call yet, just so the new guys are interested. You know what I mean? Just head down. Go to www.stocksnipertrading.com. Join our newsletter, okay? That's one way. Just drop your email. We send out daily blogs just of trade recaps, some free content, different things like this. You know what I mean? This is an example of one of our blogs. A nice little intro of what happened during the YouTube session. We broke down the blog for your ABCD trade breakdowns, and then we provide a video. Okay, and uh, then if you're if you're interested, guys, like I said, we do have a trade group, twenty nine ninety nine US. It's peanuts, like a dollar a day. So uh, if you're interested, guys, check that out. StockSniperTrading.com. Okay, but uh, back to trading now. Um, what we're looking for here, guys, is a selling opportunity coming, maybe around the high. Like for the new guys that have signed on, there's 42 people here, guys. That's a that's a good amount of people signing on. Okay, so we made the nice bullish breakout here. Okay, so we know, guys, we're currently up 85 pips from the entry of the neckline break on the five-minute time frame. 
Okay, so if we can get up here, guys, that's going to approach a high and we can start to push higher than that, uh, which would be a huge move. But like I said, uh, they're getting some respect, some resistance at 35,148. Okay, so we're just going to have to wait and see if it's going to have enough movement to push past or if it's going to get rejected. Okay, NASDAQ is falling, guys. That hit literally hit all of our profits. Um, and then some, okay, I told you guys they're going to fill that wick. See what I mean? Uh, this is perfect right there. You see, not that wick, sorry, but they're going to fill that area and, and they did. And uh, as you can see now, we're tanking guys. NASDAQ is bearish uh, to the point where uh, if it starts to plow, blow past this area right here, you know what I mean? We're going to have some more continuation. So the reason why I'm drawing a zone guys is because there's more than one air uh, wick and uh, pretty much I, that's, kind of how I would draw this anyways guys so if it's going to continue to fall look for your potential reversal area roughly somewhere around this area here okay <coughs> sorry guys this is bananas guys look at this I don't know what to say uh, yeah this trade is up 70 pips you know what I mean look for something here now to happen we'll wait and see if it blows past here guys this is our next target okay guys if, uh, I scaled out of that I, I pray to I wish I didn't like honestly it's hard doing the charting and <laughs> doing this live uh, but I, I was in from up here guys on uh, 0 0.1 I, I would probably be up like eight nine hundred dollars right now uh, but I, I didn't I held it I sold it too quickly um, and, and that happens you know what I mean um, it, it most definitely happens okay so uh, but just keep that in mind that you can hold some of these trades they do trend if you're following your technicals properly and and this and that okay so guys if Nasdaq is gonna continue bullish all right um, I'm looking for something more of a confirmed entry up here okay maybe a little tighter stop loss maybe something down here. I want to see how these candles close okay so like if I'm not entering right now, okay? Just, I want to see how these candles close, guys. There's three minutes left. I just want to, I'm looking for more of a conservative approach to this, okay? Because the stop loss is too wide for that. I don't want to get someone into a trade. It's not a good risk to reward, um, like, ratio. So just keep in mind that if if you do want to take these kind of buys, these retracements that they are on you, uh, I'm really looking to get really nice entries. Like, I know at the market open, they have wide stop losses, but I, I generally keep a nice tight stop loss just to, you know what I mean, to mitigate any kind of losses that do occur, right? So, okay, so let's look at there. That would be a potential guys this is uh bananas us 30 again like i i can't can't keep mentioning to you how crazy these these things trend in the morning and you know what i mean like you can actually be done for the day if you catch these things guys and there's not a lot of traders there's not a lot of streamers that are trading market open you know what i mean they're they're kind i don't know if they're afraid to or what uh but you know what i mean there's a lot of phenomenal traders out there who are streaming right but for some reason you know what i mean we can catch pips on market open you just have to remember there's a little bit of patience but then once you get in at a nice entry that it can actually really pay off guys okay um and guys like and subscribe to the channel that's all we really ask like we do this daily ron already did a, a london session this morning uh and you know what i mean it's three in the morning it's a holiday Day for him uh, I'm doing one at nine guys so we do this daily you know what I mean sometimes guys will Ron will probably do it tonight at nine we'll see so you might get three streams guys like just hit like and subscribe on the button uh, on the channel you know what I mean you won't regret it that's all I got to say to you okay look at guys you understand how <laughs> you understand this trade like we had an entry right there all the way here guys guys that's 118 pips like it's it's tapping there right now guys 118 pips okay uh with a neckline break like we caught this and like i said there was even a potential pull up and then a reversal it didn't even hit our stop loss so we had a nice stop loss tight set tight and uh this was a beautiful trade you know what i mean and, and it can still have opportunity to to run even higher okay uh near the high you can look for potential reversal here but like i like i'm saying that when you catch these they they trend guys so let's check out nasdaq for one second starting to find some bottom okay so we'll leave nasdaq alone for a second 
Gold, look at this, guys. This is this is gold. Look at this. Remember how I told you you're going to come back down and test here? I didn't even look at gold because I'm not, I don't want to focus on gold on market open. Okay. I didn't really want to trade it. I just did it for the guys who are actually in the group. Um, and it made a nice little move, guys. We had a nice probably 50 pip, 60 pip move sent to the trade idea alert uh, group this morning. Right. And then once market open happened, uh, you know what I mean? You're strictly focusing on indices and then going back to the XAU USD after. Okay. So US 30 is one, the best one right now that we have. Um, it's definitely one where if you caught the bottom, you will uh, see major profit, okay? Okay, guys, I'm going to drop in. We do have a free Telegram group, too. Um, I gave away a free 30-minute session last week um, that turned into one hour. He actually joined, okay? Um, so if, if you're interested in, in joining in like that, you know what I mean? Just uh, I'm going to put it in the chat box right now, okay? Give me one second here. And then, the, oh my goodness, guys! Look, oh, good, good God! Look at this! It hit. This just hit, guys! That hit. Holy, this is bananas! Look at this thing, guys! Look at this. 140 pips. Wow, wow, guys! Like I don't have anything up here. We're going into uncharted territory right now. Okay, this is uncharted territory, guys. Look at this, and now it's starting to break up even higher. Look at this, guys. We're breaking highs live. This is this is history, guys. You understand we're doing this live? This is bananas right now. Look at this. Guys, we're running 145 pips. Okay. Guys, look at that. Okay, so guys, now... I'm looking for more of a selling opportunity coming in here, okay? It's it's been fantastic dealing with you, US 30, but right now, eventually, if it still goes, guys, don't look for a sell. This is a, this is a retracement in the pullback, okay? But that's looking something like what I'm looking for, okay? More of a conservative approach entry here. I'm not worried. I am conservative about this. Give me one second, guys. Sorry, that's my cell phone here. There we go, guys. So now you can see we made our move. Now we're kind of approaching a, a descending, like I said, a sell-off here, maybe a pullback, okay? So be cautious on your pullback, okay? Might only run for a little bit, all right? Um, so just be very patient with this one. Don't enter in right now, okay? I don't want you to enter in right now. I want you to just wait on this candle, all right? So I want you to wait for a nice little retracement here. I want to see if it's going to test it. If it's testing it, guys, because the only thing I'm worried about is this wick up here, okay? Don't like panic if you got into the cell. It looks pretty good. I'm just worried that they might fill that wick for maybe a new test at a re at a, another high. Okay, so just uh, just be patient with this. Okay. Can you guys hear me now? I should have good volume. And uh, guys, when I said bananas, it's um, it means I'm excited. Like it's like this is bananas. Like it's crazy. Making new highs live, guys. It's that that's exciting uh thank you julian hansby for subscribing brother i appreciate this man you know what i mean guys our goal is 1000 subs guys you don't understand when we get 1000 we're gonna scalp one minute candlesticks for you guys on gold and all nasdaq and this and that it's gonna be uh it's gonna be good guys so right now we caught the uh the sell-off here guys okay so we caught the nice sell-off here uh waiting for this candle to kind of close in a minute and 10 seconds and then see what's gonna happen okay Let's check out NASDAQ. 
Okay, so see how it's forming some bottom wick right there, guys? I told you, potential reversal area. They're still making some lows here, but now they're pushing it back up, okay? So now we're coming into key key area right here, okay? Uh, just keep that in mind. Um, don't jump the gun just yet, guys. We want to make sure we're looking for conservative entries. Uh, we're not trying to really blow any accounts here. We just want to make sure we're doing this right, okay? I'm going to send. Guys, if you like what you see here, we do have, a, like I said, a mentorship group that we have. Uh, you can check it out. I just sent all the information right here, guys. We have crazy amount of viewers on this call right now, um, 57. So let's just wait and see. 650 subscribers, guys. Thank you very uh, much. That's that's crazy. I definitely appreciate that. That's 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 huge, guys. Okay, so now we're looking, getting, that's that buy entry right there. Okay, so I'm saying now we're entering in here, guys. So just be aware that it's the same thing as US 30, guys. We're waiting for a push up, a retest, and then a confirmation buy here, okay? So if you're buying just to buy, just be cautious, guys, because it, it is still in a downtrend, okay? So just wait and see how these candles close and how we get a nice little movement to the upside here, okay? Let me check US 30 now, too. Okay, US 30 is for, yeah, it's selling into our, our, take, our take profits here, guys. It's looking good, okay? It's pushing back up now, okay? So keep that in mind. There's your retest candle that's coming to fruition, all right? So when you're doing that, remember, guys, we're, we're roughly up right now at 20 pips, okay? So if you got it from the entry, fantastic. But now they're starting to push it up a little bit, okay? So you can look to take your profits. Take some profits, guys, okay, if you want. Okay, guys, there's uh, 45 people watching, guys. See, okay, one second here. See what I mean, guys? That's what I mean. They might just have a cool off here, then a retracement, then a buy again. So just be cautious with this. That's why I said wait until the next candle closes. You would have scalped 20 pips, and now it's pushing back up again, okay? So just be um, just be very cautious with this one, okay? I did tell you they're going to want to retest the high here, okay? I did. I mentioned it about the wick. That was the only thing I said. So just be patient with it. Let's see what's going to happen. If it starts to break above here, guys, you know what I mean? We'll get a continuation. All right. There we go. Look at NASDAQ kind of bouncing into potential profit area. Okay. Let's see if this is going to ride up a little bit, if we're going to get a nice little sell-off. So guys, from the entry down there, you know what I mean? 10 pips. Okay. Just uh, be cautious with this. It might be a dead cap bounce. Okay. So just wait until it closes here. I personally didn't take this trade, okay? I'm just waiting to see how this plays out because last thing I want to happen is it come down here, we find some bottom push up here, and then it tanks some more, okay? That could be just a little retracement here, okay? So let's just be patient with this. Still put it there so you can see the potential setup, but let's just wait and see because um, this there's a lot of top wicks here, okay? So just keep what I mean by that is you see the top wick up here and the top wick of the previous candle. Okay, so we do know there's a lot of sellers in this market, okay? And they don't always retrace as much as possible. And remember, guys, there's news coming at 250, okay? So um, if anything, guys, I would look to maybe not be in a trade right now. Uh, the news, like I said, is the 10 a.m red folder news okay so let's just be very patient with this because this could sell off some more okay so right now um if you're in the trade guys look to take your profits you're still up okay i'm gonna hold it there for right now until news drops okay uh just to be more of a conservative kind of looking um trader okay so nas so us 30 guys push down Okay, so I'm saying there, but remember the neckline, it might come back and test the neckline again. Okay, so let's just wait and see. It's still looking good, guys. There's nothing wrong with it. Guys, for the high impact news, okay, what I want you to do is this. The first five people who tell me if they want to trade NASDAQ or US 30, it's going to be on the chart for, Mar for the open on news. And I need it done within like a minute. Okay, so hit them fast, hit them fast, okay? Let's see what we got here, guys. I got US 30. I got NAS, US 30. I'm tied right now, guys. I need three, one, three or more of something. Okay, so I got... It's US 30, guys. I got US 30. Okay, we're going to stay on US 30 right now, okay? 
High impact news, a minute left. Okay. Uh, how much do you need to start Forex? Um, it all depends, man. Uh, that's a good question that we answer in our in our mentorship group. So, uh, you know what I mean? If you want to look to join that, we can definitely help you out with that. But for now, uh, we're going to just trade this. Uh, anywhere between, you know what I mean, a conservative 200 to maybe $1,000 to start with, to fool around with. But I, I always recommend starting with a demo account, man. Like, always recommend starting with a, the, a demo account. You know what I mean? Uh, you're going to make a lot of mistakes, and it's better to learn, you know, with with not with your money than to learn on something else you know what i mean so that's that's my suggestion to you my man and that's a good question so um you don't always need to use your real money okay so if uh if you do like i said just maybe use smaller lot sizes so you can trade a lot longer to get used to everything that's going on okay guys we have uh, under 10 seconds here now um so now we're just going to wait and see uh if we're in a sell or if we're in a buy here okay let's just wait and see what's hap what's going to happen okay Look at this, guys. Look at that. There's your news. Be cautious with it. It's going to flip potential script, guys. If you're in some profit, maybe look at taking some of your profit. Okay? We are up right now. All right? But this thing can have a heavy reversal. Okay? So let's just wait and see. There's still 4 minutes and 40 seconds left. That's why I'm telling you, look to take some profit here, guys. Definitely, you can move your stop loss to break even if you want. Just protect yourself. Okay? So, see what I mean? Because it might turn back and go bullish here. It's a very erratic candle. So if we're going to be in right now, you know what I mean? This is kind of... That was the entry right there, okay? News time is crazy time, guys. Um, I bet you, let's go to NASDAQ for one second here. I bet you NASDAQ is looking good. Okay, so there we go. A little bullish momentum here. Okay, uh, for you, my man, you keep asking about buy stops. You know what I mean? NASDAQ is right there. The buy stop was right here, guys, if you're paying attention to the channel. Okay, right here. Right there. 14,954, that was the entry. Okay. I don't always tell you when to buy and sell. Okay, you need to watch the channel from open. That's why you just should subscribe. Okay, that way you can start as soon as we're doing our top-down analysis and we have everything done like that. When you understand a top-down, you know what I mean? It can be very powerful for you moving forward. Okay, US 30, guys, like I told you, flipping script a little bit. Okay, really in decision right now. This is, this is impact news, okay? This is trading impact news. All right, so keep this in mind. It can go either way. Um, if you're in a trade, like I said, it's very difficult to get out of the trade. So let's just wait and see what's going to happen here, okay? So I told you to move your stop loss to break even if you're in it or even take your profits, okay? Uh, you don't want to be in something like this and have it reverse on you, okay? Uh, you want to be as a conservative trader as possible, all right? Generally, I'm not worried, as you can tell, I'm not stressing too much. They do tend to fill wicks, okay? So, if it's going to be a wick fill, guys, like I said, it's going to be somewhere to the downside, a little bit maybe to the upside. Um, Gord, huge congratulations, buddy. Uh, Gord just went... Uh, he's up $1,100. Okay, guys, I'm going to show that on the... That's, that was sent to our private group chat, guys. So anyone in my member, guys, area in the chat can see that. Give a shout-out to Gordon in the chat, guys. You know what I mean? Making $1,100 today is... That's phenomenal, man. You know what I mean? Huge congratulations to Gordon. And I, guys, let me give a shout-out to Gord, okay? Gord actually stopped trading with us. Hey, <laughs> I don't know if you would care if I say it, but then he came back within two weeks, guys. He had a bad day, didn't make a nice trade. You know what I mean? Came back. Ever since then... 
you know, he's joined up with some prop firms. He's he's doing extremely well now. This guy's going 10 for 10, 8 for 10 on a consistent basis. He's an 80% and above trader now. And how he started? He started with using small micro lots. Okay, very small lots, guys. I mean like 0.1s, 0.01s, but they were adding up. Okay, so you know what I mean? When you can make $5 on, say, like a 0.01, you know what I mean? You can make money in a larger it making pips is making pips you just need to change the amount that you're using right so i just wanted to give a shout out to gord this guy literally he i appreciate him being on here and i think he's doing some really good things for himself uh in his life too you know what i mean so uh shout out to you my man thanks for sending that and thanks for being on the calls as you always are bro much love on that one okay cool and look at this guy see why i'm not panicking guys i told you they fill wicks here okay they fill wicks. That's why I'm not freaking out a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people would. You know what I mean? They'd probably look to panic and take some profit and stuff like that. That's why I'm just chilling. NASDAQ, I'm, wor I'm just patiently waiting for NASDAQ, not looking at it. Gold, there we go, guys. I had a feeling something like this would happen around the news. Okay? So now we're back in profit here, guys. You see that? That, that thing came down here, then shot right back up. All right, so our gold buy was right here. 1811. We're up. You know what I mean? Almost 10 pips. We'll see if it's going to have a continuation here, guys. All right. So let's see how gold is doing. Uh, at maybe in like 10, 20 minutes. Okay. I want to focus on some of these indices right now. So there's the dirty 30. Looking good. Now it's coming to approach that neckline breakout, guys. Neckline breakout. Deshaun, nice, brother. You've been using those gold. Deshaun, I think, maybe had those uh, buy stops set in our mentorship group. Okay? <clears throat> Look at this, guys. I don't know where how you guys trade or what you guys trade, but you should trade with us on Market Open. Guys, like, for real. We we generally help you during these live calls. <laughs> you know what I mean? Our mentorship group is another level. We do private webinars for these guys. Like, we really take it. We really try, okay, for these guys. So, guys, but look at this. This is live. You know what I mean? Do you understand how many pips in the US 30 just made you? I just want to show you. Even from maybe conservative right here to right here. We'll say 100 pips. But, guys, then we caught the reversal and even if you did from there to like there, even the 200, we'll say 150 pips roughly at the latest if you're looking to take these trades, guys. That's 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 no joke. You know what I mean? And that's in since 9.15, guys. It is 10. Um, four, 50 minutes, guys. 5 zero, 150 pips on US 30 alone, guys. Come on now. And then we have NASDAQ. NASDAQ, I did say it was going to be a little bit of a dead cap bounce. That's my bad, guys. Uh, if you were on the call previously, okay, I kept it on there just because I wanted to see how it goes through news. My initial sell was good. This this was a little pullback. It went into profits, but then the news took over, guys. Um, me personally, the only reason why I put that there is because of this area right here. It was a quick scalp. As soon as someone told me about the 1030 news, I told everyone to get out, you know what I mean, look to take your profit because the sell obviously was the best option uh, to go with in the overall long run. We still know, guys, in this area right here, this is the break area for a potential buy, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. As you can see, they tried to push it up a couple times. So let's leave it alone for right now, all right? We'll come back to this because this could be forming some other, you know, key chart pattern or, you know what I mean, uh, maybe a, a potential flag or a wedge or it could just sell right off okay so when that kind of happens guys you just got to make sure you're understanding the news and if you were in there you should have just taken your profits like i did say we went back here i said take your profits guys wait for the news to drop and then we'll look at making another entry because what i would have said if we weren't trading na uh, us 30 i knew this would have happened i would have saw this top wick down didn't break above right here okay i would have said guys screw the buy look for the potential sell opportunity because then it obviously sold right off okay um, that's why I said when you guys want to see something, you need to make sure you're putting it there fast as possible. Okay. All right. So now, guys, the U.S. Back to you. Uh, sorry, I'll go back to gold. I want to check that one out for one second here. Gold is retesting the 200. Okay. 
Uh, so made a break up, retest. Made a break up, retest. We'll see if it's going to continue, if it's going to actually break down. Okay. US 30 is doing the same thing, guys. It's holding right around that 200 moving average. Okay. Happens all the time. All right. And now it's in that potential neckline area, which is the break, guys. See what I mean? I can't make this stuff up. The first wick, they got pushed right there because there's a lot of buyers sitting there. Guys, they have their buy stops waiting at 35,085 guaranteed because it happened there and then it happened there. You know what I mean? Now they're big liquidity grab pushing to the upside. Okay. So let's just wait and see how this is going to play out. All right. I'm not looking to scalp everything, guys. I want to keep these kind of on the uh, keep the overall patterns on the chart, or so you keep the overall take profits on the chart, so you can see if you're just signing in or looking um, for you know what I mean, good trades and this and that. So I'm just gonna leave it for now, guys. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna leave, uh, but I definitely want you to see that the reversals can happen. Okay, they found a nice little bounce, respected the 200, but also respected that neckline break. Okay, so. If you're looking for anything, guys, I, I'm looking for this to maybe come up in this area again, okay? Maybe test the high and then drop back down, okay? Uh, that's for US 30, so, but we'll just wait and see. It could just sell right off, guys. That That's the thing, all right? <clears throat> so, guys, there we go again. Now we're approaching that same area that I was just had on there that I took off, but I'm going to look more of a conservative approach, guys. I'm going to look for something right around here because... If it's gonna go bullish, guys, it's gonna it's this this is gonna be the break area rate roughly around here. Okay, we'll adjust our stop loss accordingly. Okay, most likely I'm looking. At, I don't. That's a big stop loss for me personally. Okay, you see how that stop loss, guys, on a five minute. That's 35 pips. It's not too, too bad, okay? But I'm looking for it to maybe get up here, right? So I'm looking now when this goes into profit. Okay, so watch if I move this over here, guys, and I take and I'm moving this here. If I'm if I'm taking this trade, guys, as soon as I'm like third, maybe 10, 20 pips, I'm moving my stop loss like to break even, okay, right up here. You see, what I'm saying just to protect myself. All right. If not, I might have it here. I might be only willing to lose a little bit. You know what I mean? So you just got to make sure you're you're using proper risk management, guys. If you don't use risk management, you're not going to last in this game. It's it's going to be detrimental to your account. I, I'm just being real and honest with you, okay? So, but now there's the Nasdaq buy, guys. All right. Let's see if it's if it starts to break here, guys. It's looking pretty good. Okay. Very volatile. Remember, guys. Nice small lot sizes. Okay. Let's see if this is gonna have a nice little retracement. I'm gonna go back to US 30 for a second here. Okay, so I pushed up, guys. Pushed up and tested the actual entry point. Okay, because that was a key area. They pushed it up there the one time, pushed up there again. Okay, now they're either going to sink it down here or they're going to push it up some more. Okay. Guys, out of the three that we're trading right now, if you guys want to see one, put it in there. Ask a question about it. I have no issues answering questions on these kinds of times. Okay, look at gold starting to break out now. Okay, look at this, guys. Look at this. Okay, guys. I had the uh, the buy at eighteen oh nine. You know what I mean? Up. It's not bad. go guys and uh if you know what i mean if you have telegram channels and stuff like that just join the group you know what i mean you get free um you get, you get to see the group free daily okay so what i mean by that is like i said we send the links there for youtube lives so if you if you don't want to always you know always wait for us or look for us just join up and stuff like that so Arthur, you got caught by the news? Yeah, that's why I told you, man, look to take your profit um, when you were down there, okay? So did you sell some more? 
Because, Arthur, if you if you hug the bye, guys, you know what I mean? It it didn't really stop. It went down there, uh, but it didn't really go in your stop loss. So, Arthur, did you take the buy or did you take a sell on that? You don't have to me you don't have to answer on this. Okay, you can message me personally, and I can just look at this myself and let you know. Okay, if just want you to know that. Okay, you're part of our group, my man. You can ask me any of those kind of questions, and if not, uh, we can work on that. To maybe put that question in one of our seminars this week, so you can, uh, you know what I mean. You can ask that, and we can kind of break it down for you, so it doesn't happen the next time. Okay, this game is all about learning, guys. You know what I mean. It's all about learning. Okay. Make mistakes, you know what I mean? And then, uh, you know what I mean? You learn from your mistakes, guys. That's how it is, okay? So potential reversal area, guys. So let me just point this into perspective. I had this drawn way before. If you would have caught the buy right there, you would be up huge, guys. But now we're taking a more conservative buy, which is right here in terms of breaking confirmation, okay? So we're still up 20 pips. But guys, if you caught it down there, Okay, if I wasn't trading on live and stuff like that, I might have probably taken that, which in case you could have been up almost 50 pips, guys. Okay, those wicks, the liquidity grab wicks, those are the ones you really want to grab, okay, because you can ride those out huge. Okay, but look at NASDAQ, guys, it's hitting our teak profit now uh, at 14,988. Okay, these have all been drawn before, guys. Okay, all been drawn before. I think it'll get to maybe the 200. We'll chart this up there. Okay, kind of sold off. It's got to break through that resistance, guys. Okay. Let's look at US 30 kind of hovering in there. Okay, you know what I mean? So, guys, for this too, this was like during the news time. I did tell you to take your profit right around there. So, that probably would have been a null trade. Okay, so I would have just been been out of that. Okay, J just keep that in mind. You're looking for selling opportunities now. You know what I mean? But you would not want it to sell down here. Okay, 100% not. Okay, because it's near the 200. If anything, you're looking for buying opportunities because it's above there. Okay, uh, but now, like I said, if, if you were on the call previously, they do fill wicks. Okay, so that wick could be filled or it could get near it and then it potentially could sell off again. Okay. Look at NASDAQ, guys. There we go. Broke through. Okay, had a nice break and now it's going to be retesting our pretty much our high. On this, on this take profit right here, okay? So NASDAQ from the buy guys, 30 pips, okay? Same thing with here, look. If you caught it, guys, that's 70, that's at least 100 pips on NASDAQ, okay? Not too many people can do this, you know what I mean? They'll trade 15, 20 minute time frames, uh, maybe hourly, you know what I mean? They're looking for 10, 15 pips, that's it. Guys, like, <laughs> Look, just keep up to speed with us here, okay? Even a conservative there, we'll say 65 pips, okay, on the sell that we had charted. And now you're looking for a potential buy that had roughly 30, so maybe 90, 100 pips. We had a buy opportunity here, guys. The stop loss was down there. The reason why I took it off is because it sold off all the way down there, okay? I waited for the next move. As soon as I started to see these big wicks down there in this price, I put this back, okay? You know what I mean? That's a buy stop that's always kind of been there, that price, so... Just keep that in mind, guys, all right? I took that trade. I took that trade, guys. I'll, I'll show you right now. Guys, the, for the people who were on it before, okay, there's 40 people on here. I said that I was three for three, okay, about 40 minutes ago, okay? I'm now five for five, okay? You want to see some commission? All right, there's my gold commission right up top on a 2.6, 182, Okay? I'm not hiding anything from you guys, okay? I'll even take the NASDAQ buy and sell and I'll send it to the group, all right? Guys, we're not greedy here. You know what I mean? We're prop firm traders. We understand how this works. Join the Telegram group, guys. You want to see these updates? You got to join the Telegram group. Okay, and the Telegram group, guys, right up top of the channel. Just click it. You know what I mean? It's free to join. 
we show you what we're doing you know what i mean we want you to grow with us as uh subscribers obviously on the channel but also uh, on our group guys and to clay amos who just subscribed brother thank you so much man i appreciate you subscribing julian appreciate it too um mike i appreciate it brother uh and if there's anybody else i missed uh you know i'm so sorry but thank you guys for subscribing it's it's huge we really appreciate that kind of stuff okay and you and you won't be dissatisfied i can guarantee you that Okay, now we're getting a little high up here, guys. Okay, so it might get a little, um, we'll just wait and see. Okay, if anything, I'm looking for it to maybe touch up here, maybe get to the 200. Okay, so this area roughly right around here, which is our entry, before doing its next move. Okay, so let's just wait and see. That'll be a full pullback retracement. Look at US 30, guys, spinning top candles, not too much. Okay, um, let's look at gold. Look at gold, guys, beautiful. Guys, unbelievable. You know what I mean? It. If you were in there before, you know what I mean? I had the stop loss there, guys. Stop loss is still there. Um, if you did take the trade, like I said, you're up 30 pips, guys. That's a $3.07 move. You can take your energy to stop loss to break even, okay? You know what I mean? And then just have it a risk-free trade, you know? I'm just going to keep it there just to show, guys, that we did have a stop loss set and it was ready, Okay. go back to us 30 here selling off guys there we go oh my goodness guys you're not going to be crazy about this look at this nasdaq is pushing up even higher that's crazy guys it's i told you it's going to probably touch the 200 okay that's a full sell and buy on NASDAQ. That's bananas, guys. Let's see if it'll touch the 200 right up here. Guys, if it touches there from the entry, that's 48 pips, okay? I would 100% move my stop loss up here, all right? Be conservative, you know what I mean? Let's see if we'll take it, guys. Right at the 200. 48 pips if it touches. Let's see. Okay. It's pushing up there. It wants to touch it. It always wants to get back to the 200. Okay. Um, can I explain why it's drawn to it? And that makes a full retracement here. It's obviously a retest on a higher time frame uh, for potential selling opportunity again. But for right now, like I said, there's a lot of buying power here being pushed in this trade. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Dan, you can 100% use a trailing stop, man. I haven't gotten into that with these guys yet, uh, but it's something that you can most definitely do. Guys, a trailing stop loss is pretty much where you're in profit. Um, it follows you up inch by inch. So say if you want to set a 20 pip or a 10 pip stop loss, you'd predetermine that and you would hit trailing stop. So every, say, $1 move you go up, it's going to be behind you, you know what I mean, uh, 10 pips and if it drops you know what i mean it automatically stops you out on in your profit okay so it's a genius way to trade um not all traders know about trailing stops but once you do it makes things a lot easier that's a great question uh one that we haven't actually got on this channel that i have personally got on there yet okay okay us 30 kind of still holding on that 200 okay it's holding this level right here guys it's a key level 31,120. okay so <clears throat> just be patient with this. Uh, it's kind of riffraff now. You know what I mean? We had our nice buys and our nice sells here, okay? But uh, unfortunately right now it's just kind of forming some, not some nonsense trading, but stuff that I wouldn't trade because look at all the wicks, okay? It's going to head fake you out. Remember I told you NASDAQ might get a little sell up here, okay? <clears throat> Will it hold on a sell? Uh, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm not entirely sure if it's going to hold on this sell. But it definitely has a lot of opportunity to hold here and then potentially bounce back up, okay? Get my coffee, guys. I haven't even had a sip yet. Guys, you can tell we're strictly here to... We're down to business, guys. <clears throat> we're strictly here. 
all right, to make you guys pips, all right? We definitely want to make you guys pips so you can see how, you know what, we're, we're different, guys. Like, I don't know if, I'm not about to get talking about anything, but guys, I think we're different uh, in terms of, you know what I mean, how we trade. There's not a lot of people who trade five minutes live. That's why it's still crazy, guys. You know what I mean? Like, I can go to gold right now and have guys in my group getting my back. My my, my homie Gord, who's made $1,100 today, guys, is telling me gold is running. I'm going to go here, and we're going to help you guys see this. You know what I mean? Gord's probably up $2,000 right now. Guys, even from there to there, that's a 35 pip move, guys. Stop loss of break even. We're in no man's land right now. We're in we're in somewhere, okay? I just haven't charted anything. We're get we're, we're exactly where this previous resistance was, okay? We're getting pushed back down. Um, it's acting as a really good resistance, but if it starts to break through there, guys, it's just going to continue climbing, okay? All right? But like I said, we're there's a lot of differences between how we trade guys and a lot of other people's. Ron has a different style than me, okay? I have a different style than Ron. Okay, I don't use RSI. Ron has a, a genius RSI strategy. I know how to use it, okay, but it's something that, um, you know what I mean? I uh, I just like trading bear chart, okay? So uh, let's jump back and talk about US 30 again, guys. Okay, so what I, I've been watching on my other computer screen here. <clears throat> I did say, like, remember, guys, it's holding that 35,120 area. Reason why it's doing that, guys, is cooling off, and you can see that 200 is just kind of hovering right there. Okay, it's kind of just—it's still above it before it makes its next move. But this this price action wants to come down and touch this. You can tell by the selling pressure. But there's just a lot of buyers in this neckline break, guys. Um, most people, you know what I mean, when they're trading, guys, or the other people, they're not gonna take the time to write down what the chart is, neckline breaks. You know what I mean? Uh, they're just maybe gonna tell you to buy here, sell here, put your stop loss here. You're not really seeing anything, guys. That's why having our channel like us is so visual. You know what I mean? Where you can see what we're talking about, guys. And we do this privately too. Okay, so it's something that you want to make sure that you're you're if you want to join. Uh, Join the group. It's something that you'll you'll get one on one session time with not only me or Ron, but like there's other traders too who have great insights in our group, guys. Like, um, so that that's why we're I think a little different. Uh, we're trying to create a really good community here, and our our channel has grown like exponentially fast, guys. Like it's very fast. I like we're up 50 subscribers in like less than like three or four days. You know what I mean? So it's it's good. You know, so I, the reason I'm saying this, guys, for all the new people who come on, you might not have subscribed to the channel. You might not have joined the Telegram group. You might not have done this. I just kind of wanted to tell you what we're doing uh, and how we do it. And you can obviously see by uh, some of the boys in our chat, you know what I mean, some of the girls in our chat that we, uh, you know what I mean, we grind hard for you guys. So, okay, 1030, guys. I usually cut it at 1030 simply because it's uh, – I got to get back. All right. So we're going to stay for another five minutes. I might stay for the 10 until the 1035 candle. Okay. If you want me to stay until then, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me what you want to trade. Okay. Be a little bit more vocal with me. If you have any questions, guys, I'll answer one question. If there's another chart you want me to chart, preferably mention that in the, in the group guys. Uh, but if there's anything you guys want to ask, if I can feel like I can answer it for you, I, I will try my best, okay? And I'll wait until, like I said, the 10 minutes is up. And if nothing is asked, then we'll give it a, a t uh, we'll give the call a, a stop. And you can check out my main man, Ron, tonight, okay? But guys, we had over like 50, we had at one point 47 people on this call. That's That was one of the highest we do. We're having 30, uh, 40 people right now watching okay guys if you can get my likes up to 40 that would be great like that would honestly just help out with the channel so much um yeah so we're at 36 now just hit the like four likes guys and uh i would really appreciate that and the one guy who hit the didn't like i always say this guys like us 30 guys keep in mind remember i told you they're gonna come try to fill this wick okay i didn't focus on that one for a second yet so keep that what are my thoughts on us 30 that's why i'm coming back to this one <clears throat> If we, <clears throat> sorry, Russ. If we get up here, dude, we're probably gonna get a rejection again, unless it breaks through. Okay, but it's also approaching no man's land. So we would have taken. I did tell the guys to look to take profit there. Okay, but now we're approaching another kind of area where it's like kind of in the middle. Okay, the buy was down here, the sell was up here, so we're kind of hovering right there. I need for it to get up to here first. Okay, I need for it to get up to here. 
or I needed to get back down in this area before we're looking for anything. Because right now we're in that 50 area. Okay, we're at that neckline break. You can see by all the bottom wicks here, we have one top wick up here. We're right in that middle. Okay, I'm. I we just need to wait and see, guys, because last thing you want to do is you just want to enter in a trade because you think it's going to go that way. No, we really want to try to understand that highs and lows happen. You want to at the high, you want to sell. Okay, you don't want to buy at the high. That's fear of missing out. Okay, so keep that in mind, right? So that's why we want to wait for it to come to one of these areas, okay? The goal, uh, sorry, US 30 could literally just sell off, okay? You see what I'm saying? Because look, guys, there's a lot of wicks at the bottom. There's a lot of wicks at the top, okay? So it's something you want to just make sure you understand here that you're not chasing FOMO, fear of missing out. You're selling into that with pure confidence that it's actually going to go down there, okay? Okay. Good question. Um, give me one second here. Let me just revamp my channel. Okay, NASDAQ. Okay. So the question is, guys, it's a good question. Okay. The buy on NAS, Dave, how did you work out the break point for the buy? Absolutely. Okay. So one, guys, I've been trading market open for quite some time. Okay, <clears throat> I understand that there's going to be a push and then a nice pull. All right, so you got to look on the overall time frame. Okay, guys, uh, sorry, not the. Only, you got to look on higher time frames. With, uh, baby, um, baby Goni, if you were with us from the uh, the start of the call, we do a top down analysis. Okay, start from the daily. Then we work our way down all the way to price action. So I knew that this area right here was going to be a key reversal area down here. Okay, we sold off. We came here. All right, so I'm looking at this area. You know, I said me myself, if I'm trading, I'm buying that probably that liquidity grab right there. I see price pushing up all the way, and then I see them just holding it. Okay, but for more, but for a more conservative look, guys, you want to have break and retest here. Okay, so look, they tried to push it up once. We actually had a buy over here in the previous call, so you can scroll back and you can look and you can see we actually had a buy. Okay. So then I took it off because I said, I'm like, they're selling off. I'm not too sure the news, but then the news stopped. It kind of all fizzled out. All right. So then I'm like, okay, guys, news is fizzling out. There was buyers in the market. Okay. So when I started to see the momentum again from the push up of the wicks, I needed to find a key area, which was a double bottom, which is a neckline break here. If you, I, I didn't really show that to you guys, but I, I knew that it was going to form. I guys, me as a trader, Ron as a trader, Blair is a trader. Our guys, I look for chart patterns all day, even on higher time frames, on lower time frames. Guys, I have an Ethereum daily, daily Ethereum double bottom chart always being updated to my group just because I believe that Ethereum is going to have a really nice move. Why? Because I'm always looking for chart patterns. Okay. We come down here, we sell off. Okay. We know the market is at a huge, great point, right? Then we make a nice little uptrend right here. Okay get sold off down all right come back here again so I, now what i'm looking for is i'm like okay guys this looks to me like a double bottom okay and so it was it broke up and now it's consolidating in this area right here okay but where the buy area was was exactly where i had it charted guys i'm just going to move this up for one second here you see that see that 14963 that was the top of that wick right there i'll maybe zoom in for you a little bit so you can see it okay I don't always like to get this close just because I like to see a little bit further out. Do you see that wick right there? That top wick? That's the that's the top breakout. And I knew, I knew, guys, I knew that they broke it. They they made a higher high, okay, with this wick right here. But then they sold it off. And as soon as I saw, as soon as I saw these wicks, these bottom wicks, I said, guys, this is the entry point. Have it there, okay, because that's a double bottom breakout, okay? If I, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, I'm always, like I said, looking for chart patterns, especially on market opens. You know what I mean? It's something that you always got to look for market opens, higher time frames, lower time frames. Um, you always want to be looking for patterns. Okay. I hope that helps, uh, baby going, if that doesn't make sense, like I said, uh, shoot us a message personally on Instagram. Okay. I'm staying for a minute and 50 seconds, guys. Um, and then we're selling off here, guys. So right now, I'm going to tell you, I'm moving this over here. 
look to take your profit, okay? It might sell off a little bit. Come back down and test here, guys. Remember, we're only on, guys, we're only on the five-minute time frame. So price is very volatile, very volatile. So when I'm telling you to look to take some profits, look to take this, if you took that buy, you should really consider looking at it, okay? I'm not saying that this thing is going to like come back down here and take, but I just I don't want you to ride these out if you're in profit and then have it come back and take you out at stop break even or take you out at a loss. Okay, so I when I really tell you guys to look at that, just consider it. Okay, it's not for me to just tell you to do it to do my job. No, I'm I generally want you to understand that taking partials is key, closing trades at break even or treat are are are, are uh, key, and then also just taking the overall trade is key okay guys so sometimes like i said these things don't always run forever and this is on the five minute time frame okay us 30 same thing guys i'm not liking us 30 right now we made our moves okay nasdaq same thing we made our moves gold is looking gold is actually one of our best trending things right now and guys at the beginning of the call, I said 9.30. I said, guys, I don't want to see anybody put on gold in the chat box but wanting to trade it. It doesn't have any movement at 9.30. Guys, why do you think for my trade ideas I give out a certain time? I Guys, I know how and me and Ron know how these trade. Gold is always after, okay? That's how we're getting this nice bullish movement, all right? Guys, this trade is up 38 pips from this possible entry right here if you got it, okay? So it's uh, it's no joke, guys. Um, we don't have a coupon code, man, just because it's like 29 bucks. You know what I mean? If you want to try it for a month, dude, like our mentorship group, try it for a month. You know what I mean? And then if, you, if you're not happy, obviously, you know what I mean? You're more than welcome to cancel and look for another service. Uh, you get a group chat with us, guys, a lot of access to a lot of other traders. 52-week program here. We have a full course that we're being consistently updated. I'm updating two webinars today. You get some trade ideas sent to the group. So like I said, we're, we're probably one of the hardest working groups you could probably see um so like i said just check it out if you're not happy like i said there's no contract and uh we just want everyone to be happy so with that being said guys just last thing i want to show you like i said this is our website scroll down to the bottom okay check out our channel and stuff like that sorry check out the site you know what i mean um join the newsletter guys okay this is something that you just put put in your email what I normally do every day is I send out a blog or some other interesting information. You know what I mean? Um, one of the ones, how to trade indices at market open. This is a good blog that you should go check out. Break it down, A, B, C, D. Break it down like this. Then I show the NASDAQ chart. Break it down, uh, so on and so on, guys. So it's free, you know what I mean? And that's what gets sent to your channel. But then also, if you want to uh, join the group, guys, you know what I mean? It's only 29 bucks, And uh, you can check it out. And uh, like I said, just... Uh, help us keep growing and help the channel keep growing but guys thank you so much right now uh for just joining in on this call gold is running very bullish okay um us 30 is kind of just consolidating for a little bit looking to make its next move okay nasdaq is kind of selling off a little bit trying to hold weight but it's still selling that's why i totally look to take your profit guys so we'll end it with gold kind of making a nice little movement here <laughs> Uh, to the upside and I'm glad we caught it so guys Ron is going uh, live tonight at uh, n roughly nine o'clock I believe so make sure to check him out guys that's why I just like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys and uh, yeah if there's any other questions just message us on Facebook or Instagram and we'll get back to you okay thank you so much guys had a great call you guys are awesome uh, we killed this call in terms of pips it was at least over 250 uh, maybe more so uh, thanks for joining in, guys, and tune in tonight. All right, peace.